Aloha guys, Justin here with yet another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you all the best fishing diving tips here in the Aloha State and today I have some good news and some bad news so let's get right into it. So the good news is that we finally reached 1,000 subscribers so I just want to thank all you guys for all your support and all these past few months man it's been really incredible and we're going to be doing an epic giveaway coming soon. So in our next episode I will be giving you guys all the nitty gritty details regarding the giveaway and I am giving you over a hundred dollars worth of gear here at Fish and Dive Hawaii. You can also check us out at fishanddivehawaii.com. Really exciting stuff. So with that being said let's go into the bad news. So the bad news is that a quarter of this video got deleted. I've been having some issues with my memory cards and plugging them into my GoPro, then off to my phone, and then off to my drone, and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I accidentally deleted the last quarter part of this video. So it's not a full length video, but I will continue to show you guys the details of what you need to know at the end in order for you to make some awesome ceviche out of this move. So let's jump right into the episode right now. Alright guys, so it's been a couple of days since I shot this fish, but I've been keeping it on ice, really iced down. We're going to go ahead and clean this up. So I'm going to take all this out. I've got a Ziploc bag right here, and I've got my handy dandy pen knife set that you guys always see in all my catch and cook videos. If you guys are familiar with my other videos, you've seen that knife set before. So, this is a good size move. If you guys live in Hawaii, you know this is one of the harder fish to shoot. I got really lucky I'm landing this one. There was a bigger one in the background. Every time I go for moves, I always hit it and it never penetrates through because these things are really smart and they always stay on the outside. So I got my fillet set. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some slabs and I'm gonna leave the scales on because actually you guys will see in a moment. So I'm gonna cut down, cut through around the gut bag, right down to where it meets up on the bottom. Flip it over, go to the top. You guys can see that nice white meat. I'm just gonna cut along the spine over here. And these fish are really delicious. I mean, I rarely shoot these just because they're really hard to shoot. But when I do, I'm always stoked. I'm gonna save all the meat along the bone here. I'm gonna come around and drag it along. You kinda wanna push the knife down towards the spine over there. And then you're just going to want to cut through. You see all that meat coming out. And I love shooting uhus, but uhus do not compare to the meat you get off of this kind of fish. It's really clean. They don't eat reef, I don't think, as much as uhus do. And yeah, you can tell I haven't cleaned one of these in a while. So there's one side done. And you can see just how clean inside of this fish is. So already I made a mistake. I pulled this side off. Usually you'd want to leave this side on just so that... It equalizes the pressure as you're cutting through the fish. Um, I learned that from one of our subscribers here on the channel actually and since I've been using it that technique is just a lot better but as you guys can see I forgot to do that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing kind of line it up cut down through here right behind the fin go down to the gut bag and through down here go to the top of the fish and this is where it would have been way easier had I left the other side of the fish on. So now I'm just gonna have to use some leverage, push it against it. And you'll just see the difference. Had I left the other side, it would have saved a lot more meat. I'm just gonna run this all the way down alongside here, push it through by the tail, just cut that all out. And then let's go on the bottom here, kinda just hold it down, get it through. And now we can just ease our way through the meat off of the bone of the fish. So 
we were able to salvage most of the meat here. As you can see, I got two nice slabs. And this is why I wanted to keep these scales on. Right here, I'll show you guys in a second. So, what you're gonna do now, we're gonna cut all the meat off of the skin of the fish. So I haven't done this in a while, bear with me. And if you guys were to take the scales off of here, it just leaves this really thin piece of skin and that thing will just cut right through with your knife. You leave the scales on, it gives it kind of a strong backbone. So when you're doing this, it saves a lot of the meat. It doesn't go through. You can see that right there, all the scales are kind of holding it in place. Just like that, you get all this nice meat right here. I mean, I could have done a better job with the filet, but you got all this meat right here, and most of the meat came off of the skin. So remember, always keep these scales on. Do the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna run the knife all the way down, and you're kind of pulling this up, and you're pushing this down at an angle. To save as much meat as you can off of the skin of the fish. And there it is. That one is a lot more clean than the last one actually. So, see I got a lot of the meat off of the fish. Most of the meat is off of the actual skeleton of it. So I don't know if you guys can see these fish have literally like human teeth. And it's kind of weird, they have some funky looking lips and some big old eyeballs. So this fish is very much a delicacy here in Hawaii. So stoked I got to shoot one. And we'll go ahead and make some ceviche out of this. So I'm at my house now. I got these two fillets of the mu, and I also picked up some lime. I was kind of hoping my wife would grab a little more lime than this, but I do have a lot of lemons in my fridge. So I'm gonna use that to help compensate for my lack of limes. So what you guys are gonna need in this step, obviously, is the fish. You're gonna need a bowl to put it inside, some limes, and a lemon if you guys don't have enough limes and you're gonna need a knife to cut it up with. Let's go ahead and cut these limes up. And we're pretty much just gonna get all the juice out of them. So you're just gonna to wanna to cut these up so you'll be able to squeeze them inside and get all the lemon juice out. So now I'm just gonna save these last two just to squeeze over the meat after I put it inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these slabs off, get them all nice and ready. So now we're gonna make sure we get all the bones out. Usually they'll be along this line right here, the spinal bones, and you also have some near where the belly was of the fish. I've been just having memory problems with my phone, so you guys didn't get a full video of me cutting it up, but essentially what I did was just cut up the fillets so that I have nice pieces like this. You can always run your hands through and see um, if there's any bones in any of that. And it doesn't need to be perfect, it doesn't need to be perfect cubes or any of that. And you're going to be putting the lime, squeezing the juice on top of it. So the lime juice, what it essentially does is it helps cook the fish because of the acid. And I'm going to let this sit overnight, actually I'm going to be going to work tomorrow so when I come back I'm gonna pick up all the ingredients that we're gonna to need to finish off this recipe and we're just gonna put this in the fridge and let this sink into the meat and cook it for me so the damage is done I've got everything soaking in the lime juice you could only leave this uh, for a couple of hours but just because I work tomorrow I'm gonna to leave this overnight and so I squeeze uh, two lime in here for the fish and I also squeezed half a lemon because I didn't have enough lime. So we'll go ahead, cover this up, and then see how it comes out tomorrow. I can already smell it cooking the fish um, in the acid. So I'm going to let that sit. As you can see, it's already kind of starting to turn white. Before it was more like a pinkish color. So yeah, we'll just make sure all the meat is sitting in there nice and well. Cover it up, and we'll check on it tomorrow. All right, guys, so I went to my local grocery store picked up a few things, let's go ahead and open them up, see what they are, very simple, not as difficult as the stuff that I use to cook my uhus, just get a tomato, one small one is good, especially for the amount of fish that I'm using, I got an onion right here, I love to use sweet onions with everything, 
We got an avocado. Can't go wrong with avocado. And I've got some parsley or cilantro, whatever you want to call it. Bam. Let's go ahead and cut all these things up. So we'll cut the avocado up first. Oh, this is a junk avocado. Big seed. It's messed up. These things are so expensive in Hawaii because I'm, I'm pretty sure they have to get imported in. But just an avocado like this cost me almost three bucks. Then again, I went to my grocery store, store, which is really expensive. One quick tip for taking out the seeds, just give it a nice whack, you can turn it, just pull it out right there, and that usually works. Then what we're gonna do now is go through the avocado, cut slices like this. Right, go across this way. Watch out, you don't go too deep. You might cut yourself. Go one more. And I'm gonna put all these ingredients in a separate bowl before I put them inside with the fish. So I've got a separate bowl right here. Then I'm gonna take a spoon, just go in the corner. Right there in the corner. See if this works. I still got my skills. Just go around. Which you're carving it out. And just drop all that in. And you got nice pre cut avocado pieces. Maybe I didn't go as much on that side. And you look right here, get this last piece out. Pretty much save all that avocado. That little bit right there is probably like 50 cents. <laughs> right now that we got our avocado done in here, go ahead and cut up my tomatoes. Give this a nice wash. Take the seed out first for the whatever you want to call this thing. I know there's a name for it. At this old restaurant I worked at, they had this thing where you just carve it out, but I don't have that tool. So I'm just gonna cut it right in half. And I might just need a quarter of it actually. So we'll see. You know what? I'm just gonna get all crazy with it. You know what, I should have cut the tomatoes last because I got all this tomato juice all over my cutting board, but that's all right. I'm make do. For the onion, I don't think we're gonna need a lot. All right guys, this is where the footage concludes, but essentially at this point, all you need to do is cut up the cilantro, grab the rest of the vegetables and mix it in with the fish. Grab some tortilla chips or grab some tortillas and enjoy this bomb ceviche. So hopefully you guys learned something new in today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and remember in the next episode we're doing an awesome giveaway. So thank you guys for tuning in. Mahalo shoots. See you later. Bye-bye.